Okay, so the meeting is recorded um, or recording. Um, so I apologize for all of that technical challenge this morning. Um, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll work on it after the meeting's over because um, I think it's just a setting issue. So I'll, I'll double check that and um, make sure that we have the right links. So with that being said, <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing okay. It's almost Friday. <laughs> um, so we don't, I, I don't think we have Chris here today. I know when we scheduled this meeting, he said he would be back on the 4th. But when I sent the information about the meeting out, I got a response that said he's returning on the 5th. So I'm not sure he's going to be with us today. Uh, and today's um, goal was just to sort of review the outreach pathways that our three respective community use um, when we're doing public outreach. And I will admit that I don't have anything to share because I've been in touch with our director of communications. Uh, I, I've sent a request out, but she hasn't gotten back to me yet. I know she was on vacation for a bit. So this time of year, it's always a bit challenging coordinating with other people. So, um, you know, I'm sure on the list of all her to-dos, this wasn't at the very top. So I'm sure she'll get back to me, but I don't, I wasn't able to do that before today. So, and I know Tom, you had something from Pelham. Town of maybe, Pelham, yes. Yep. Susanna you, Carey, the select board administrative assistant. Rose to the occasion, so let rose me- Rose to the occasion, absolutely. And I shared see. that with everybody. Yes, I'm just going to share that on the screen, I think. Um, I have a process question. Absolutely. Um, Go ahead, Adele. What I would like to do is uh, to prepare a, a Google document uh, with a list of organizations that Chris can add to. And um, I, I just want to check and make sure that's OK from the public open meeting law standpoint yeah i mean so our our standard practice in the town is not to use google docs but i think it's okay if you're sort of putting it together and then maybe you save it in another format okay and then share it with the group that way right as long as it's not something we're all you know if you and chris are just working on something that you independently contribute to then save it as a separate document, as long as you're not having sort of conversation around anything. I mean, it's just a list of organizations. It's not like hugely any big violation, but I would say just save it. That's great. That's, a, share that's, it. that's an answer that I love. <laughs> okay, good. I hope it's the correct one. <laughs> so, um, so we'll go with that. So I'm going to share my screen with the email from Susanna Carey, let's see. So bear with me one moment. And this at least will give us a little bit of something to start with. Okay, so are you seeing my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, looking at Susanna's response, um, she said you have three public outreach methods. You have a quarterly newsletter, a website, and Nextdoor Pelham that you use. Interesting. So uh, yeah, I don't know how much the town of Amherst uses Nextdoor if we do at all um, in terms of getting information out. I'll have to ask about that. Well, the um, residents, the residents of Amherst certainly <laughs> use that yes. platform. <laughs> they do. Well, they do absolutely. There's no question. So that's why I'm not sure. But we do have. I know that. So my question to our communications director was which social media platforms do we use? Because I know we use Twitter, I know we use Instagram, I know we use Facebook. I don't know if we actually use Nextdoor. Mm. Um, so that's a good one to ask about because I agree. I mean, I'm on Nextdoor in the community that I live in and I know that it's very, very active. <laughs> There's a lot okay. that goes on on Nextdoor. So um, I agree. Is, that, that. is Nextdoor a, a listserv or a social media site? I, I don't use it. Yeah, I, I sort of feel like it's kind of like this combination of both. <laughs> you know, I'm not, you know, I don't know what the distinctions are between the listserv and the 
social media, but it does seem to be more of a social, like people pose questions and answer questions and. Um, I would and, call it Facebook for neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels a bit more like a social media platform. So, but you can, I'm, su I'm surprised you don't know about it, Adele. I'm, I'm sure I got invited to participate, but I decided not to, so. Yep. Yeah, it's, you know, there's, it, it can be very, very local, you know, um, like neighborhood oriented to, you know, I'm, I'm picking flowers in my garden and does anybody want some, I'll leave them on my porch kind of thing. You know, um, it gets very down to that, like I live on, you know, Sealy Street. So it gets very specific that way. Um, so next door is a good one for us to maybe if we if we don't use it as maybe a good one. I don't I don't know if there are issues of why we might not, but I can certainly uh, see if if we do. And I don't know about Northampton, so that's a good one to add. I will add it um, to this document that I'm going to prepare. Okay, great. Um, so you have a quarterly newsletter. Is that a digital newsletter or no. a physical newsletter? No, it's it's uh, uh, it's paper, cellulose. Wow. Okay. And and that goes out to all of the residents in town. It, it does. We put our our budget in there and things of that nature when when that time of year comes around. Right, Bernardston does something similar. We get a mm -hmm. quarterly newsletter. Um, so I'm familiar with, you know, receiving that. And yeah, it's the source of all of our local information. Um, but you do have a website. And I haven't really looked at your website. And I know the link is there. So I guess we can take a look at that but yeah, it's um, not bad it's pretty well maintained i think I'm, I'm not an expert on it either but um if you click around you can generally find out when every committee is meeting it's it's a massive number of committees for such a small town are you all seeing the link or that i just opened or are you still seeing the email message still seeing the email message all right I'm going to stop that share. And let's see. I want to share my screen again. So here's their website. Um, we're not seeing it. Oh, you're not? OK. Hmm. We're, we're seeing your desktop. Oh, it's full of stuff. It is. <laughs> yes, I've gotten in trouble for that. <laughs> it's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> now, can you see it? I yes. just opened it up. OK, there. So let's see. I'll change the view here. Um, so where so Tom, do you know where would would that information like if we were to start doing some outreach and education yes. and having this is the place it would be on the we'll on the stage there? Yes, exactly. Yep. Yep. And then in the upper left there, or my town government, if we had a meeting, if we wanted to do a schedule a public outreach session, it would get posted there. Yep. Okay. Yep. So ours is, um, you know, our website similarly has. Uh, this central area called the stage for, you know, which rotates and ours, ours rotates and has, you know, it changes depending on the topic of the hour. Um, and we also have a calendar section. So we would similarly do something probably in these locations as well. Um, which is when you go to the website, those are like the qu quickest ways to find information. So I'm going to stop share. Do you, so you don't do any kind of other social media like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter? No. Okay. So I know, I know for sure that we do. So, um, uh, 
Okay. Oh, I just realized. Is anyone taking notes? <laughs> That's okay. If not, I'll I can go back to the recording, and I don't think this is going to be a lot to have to process today. So I'll I'll take care of it later, if everybody's okay with that. Thank you. Yeah. So um, I don't see, you know, there's not a listing of newsprint, like, you know, which news outlets that you use. Um, yeah, okay. I, That's a fair observation, I'm, you know. Because uh, um, I know, I mean, those would be included, you know, we use, you know, the channel 22, channel 40, we use our Amherst Media Access, our cable access. Do you have a cable access? Or is that Amherst Media also for you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't think, I know Pelham doesn't, but um, let me take that back. I don't watch TV, so, so I don't okay. know. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm typing in notes and I'll follow up with Susanna. Sure, that's great. Um, yeah, just again, I think the idea is that we sort of have one central list so that when all three communities are doing outreach, we sort of are getting it across the board. Um, so let's see, the news organizations and then also the print, the papers like the Recorder, um, the Daily Hampshire Gazette. Mm -hmm. I don't see those listed as well, so I'm wondering if I would assume that that's where information goes as well. Um, I'll find out. Okay. So I, I can say for sure that Amherst sort of does all that, the usual, like all of the published newspapers mm -hmm. in the area. So anything that's Valley oriented, like the Recorder, the Daily Hampshire Gazette, um, I think even the Valley Advocate, um, certainly the Amherst Bulletin. Um, and then I know for the news outlets, we do, as I said, you know, Channel 22, Channel 40, um, Amherst Media. And then for social platforms, for social media platforms, again, I know that we do Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will check into Nextdoor. So that's at least a very rough list, I think for now. Um, and perhaps, you know, um, I would love to know what, you know, Northampton does because they may have something additional that they could add to this list. Well, I'm, uh, I, I, I'm going to start a Google Doc and send it to Chris and have him add to it. But um... I don't know what information he's gotten from the mayor's office. Okay. Yep. Nor do I, and that's okay. We'll get it. And uh, and I'm sure I may have more to add. I mean, I know that when I've done, you know, um, outreach, at least those are the the general um, pathways that we've used to get information out. So. Um, but our website being, you know, a primary one, you know, we always try to keep that with the latest um, information. So that would be a priority for us as well, our town website. And I'm sure Northampton would use their website as well. So all three communities' websites seem like a really sort of easy go-to to get information and to direct people to. Um, and it sounds like I like that you have the printed newsletter. The only challenge there might be timing of getting something in, right. you know, time enough to get into the newsletter. Yeah, I think, um, I think, you know, we'll use the website and if we have an article written, then when the time comes, we'll reprint it, you know, but other than that, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it'll be tight. Yep. Okay. Uh, and we call it a quarterly, but she only listed January, April, and then July, only July if we have enough articles to fill in addition. So, right. <laughs> so it might be a, yeah. I'm putting quarterly in quotes. <laughs> um, so. 
she does offer if we have something get it to her by friday september 9th so um i don't know that we will but so friday september 9th is the deadline for the next issue for the next issue it seems like it would be q4 by that point okay and do you know after that what the next one is after September 9th? My gut says it's, you know, sometime in December, but uh, for a January publication, but I don't know. Okay. I'll ask that as well. Okay. All right. Good to know. Yeah, I don't think other than the Amherst, Amherst Bulletin is probably the closest we have that isn't even necessarily a, it's not generated by the municipality, but in terms of something that actually gets to residents directly to their homes, that's probably the closest we have. And I don't even think it goes to absolutely everybody. So um, are there any questions about this list or thoughts people have about additional sources and resources? I'm going to hold goal is, The goal is to reach people, right? So yep. uh, uh, this is what Pelham normally does. We uh, I think we'll just use the proven methods and get the word out. OK. Um, I'm going to hold off on review of the minutes only because Chris isn't here. Um, and given that it's only three of us actually voting on it, I'm just going to wait till Chris is here next time. OK. Um, so unless anyone has any questions, this was kind of the primary agenda for today. My very quick update about the JPE um, draft is that we've been trying to work with legal counsels to sort of find out where they're at. And Alan seems to have a different take on where things are than uh, Rick Holland from KP Law does. So at this point, I think I'm just trying to get them to talk to each other and then to schedule a meeting with staff so uh, that they can get on board you know with one another and be on the same page literally <laughs> so I, I thought they were like at one point it seemed like that was going along fine and then I think there was some confusion around the CCA contract draft versus the uh, or not the CCA contract but the MOU draft versus the JPE so mm -hmm. anyway um, we'll follow up with that I'm, I'm gonna try to get them uh, to schedule a meeting with staff soon, if possible. And how does Pelham interface with that process, Stephanie? It just, uh, you know, I just keep you informed, basically. I mean, it's just when we have the meeting, you'll be part of it. So Pelham okay. will be part uh, of it. Because I know uh, Bob Agoglia wanted to be part of it as well. So I just want to give him a heads up. I don't know what sure. his day life is like or anything. But, mm -hmm. uh, I'll let you know when, and I'll certainly ask people what times, days and times work best. Thank you. So, you know, you can, I'll send it to you, but I may not send it directly to Bob, but certainly no, to no, you. No. So that's, that's your, if you can yeah. <laughs> keep him in the loop, that would be great. I will. And, and just let me know that he needs to be included. Um, I know you're telling me now, so I'll make a note, but also yeah. if you could. Yeah, I can. Okay. So does anyone else have any other updates or anything they want to discuss? Because otherwise I think we can probably end this meeting a little early today because we don't have Chris um, and we didn't have, you know, our agenda was mainly to just to talk about this document. And I think maybe next time we'll provide what, you know, the draft of what we have of a list to um, mass power choice folks. I'll, I just, I'll just say, um, you know, having read through the education and outreach document, it's it doesn't feel like we have to do much with it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I think I, for me, I just need to make sure that our communications director has eyes on it and is like, doesn't have any issue or thinks there's something we should be doing differently. I just feel like in deference to that role, I want to acknowledge that, you know, she take a look. And so I did tell her I would try to schedule a time to review it with her. So that's what we're going to try to do before the next meeting. But I think all, it sounded like Mass Power Choice was mainly looking for sort of, you know, um, 
fill in the blank news yeah news and contact information yeah. you know news outlets and they just wanted a basically a, just a list yeah for us to provide them so it sounds like adele is at least getting one together for northampton that they can add to and then that seems like it would be the complete list so adele when you're when you and chris are done just you can get it to me absolutely and tom and i can fill in the blanks if there are additional things we think so thank you for doing that adele that would be really helpful sure i'm, I'm working on it right now actually awesome thank you mm -hmm. andrea did you have something else or um, just that um, it seems like, you know, if we go beyond what we say we're going to do in the document, like if we do more outreach in the, you know, pre um, or during, you know, w waiting for DPU, um, how could that matter? You know, it's, you know, more, more is fine. It's just, you know, we can't, we can't do less. Obviously that's what was right. stated is, you know, as long as if we stated in the document, we have to do it, we have to, right. it's kind of an obligatory thing. So yeah. keeping it more yeah. open so that we can do more, we don't promise more, but we do more, yeah. I think is always a safer way to go. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. we don't want to over promise and under deliver. We'd rather under promise and over deliver. Yep. So. Stephanie, one quick question, just on the language we're, with KP Law, they're working on two documents, is that correct? One is the MOU and one is the joint JP. Okay, thank you. MOU is done. We've already signed That's what that. I thought. That's okay. why we're here officially. And then the, so the JPE is just the sort of next step for the, the MOU is kind of just the pathway to get us to the JPE. So they're reviewing the language for the um, joint powers agreement. Yes. The agreement is what will form the JPE. So once that gets signed, then we're officially a JPE. And that changes things a lot. <laughs> um, yes, it it makes it kind of Thank a whole you. new, it makes it a whole new entity. Thank you. Sorry for all the digging. No, fine. Um, we're all used to it. <laughs> Some of us don't ding as much as you do. <laughs> so, um, so any any other questions or um, information to share or updates or everyone sending letters to the governor <laughs> to sign? Um, good point. Oh, absolutely. Um, I did. Did you all receive? Um, my note about what's in the bill as far as CCA goes uh, and wind. I'm pretty sure. I yes, Thank I you. think we did. Okay, so I know I did. It it sounds awfully good. I I I I don't know what it means, but uh, it, it certainly is uh, good news. So the the CCA, um, like, speeded up language was in the budget or the economic development bill, right? There was something in there, I know. Well, Paul Gromer sent us information about that. Right. So there was definitely language about it. I don't know where it was, but there was definitely yeah, language. Yeah, that but but it about. hadn't passed when he sent it. It was just a potential and I think now it's passed. I thought, yeah, I thought he gave us an update. So maybe not, but anyway, that's great. I mean, it only passed like last week. Really? Well, how how would we confirm that it was passed? Um, Paul will know. Yeah. Okay, fine. Absolutely. Great. Yeah, there's no question he'll know. <laughs> That'd be be wonderful if it has passed. And was there a time frame on it? Like, takes effect immediately or what? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, well, it says, let's see, I'm looking to see if there's any kind of, a, if, he, if Paul Gromer's message has anything about that. Um, no, he doesn't say anything about. Okay. Once it, I don't know if there's like any kind of sort of 
So does that also have to uh, get signed by the governor? It says the budget goes to the governor. The governor has the authority to veto individual sections. So he has okay. the power to veto the CCA provisions if he wants. Okay, so then we need to wait the 10 days. Um, we need to no, wait. I, it's, been, it, it's been 10 days. He, he signed already, I'm pretty sure. The budget. Good, okay. Maybe not the other bill, the economic development bill. It might have been later. Yeah, can't remember. It's been a whirlwind. Yes. It's yeah, a lot going has. on. We're trying to get everything done before he leaves. <laughs> so, um, all right. Any other updates, comments? Everyone doing okay? Having a good summer? Andrew, yeah. you have a pending birthday. That's exciting. Yeah. Right. Oh, um, when's your birthday? The tenth. Oh, well, isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah. And hopefully, you will not be attending a meeting <laughs> for your benefit. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to skip the ECAC that day. It would. Yeah, I don't blame you. So. Well, well, hopefully we'll do. the governor will sign the bill and that would be a great birthday be present. Good. There you <laughs> go. Um, Sam, be, yeah. oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, Sam, you've been really quiet. Any any updates, comments? How are you doing? I'm good. No, no updates or comments. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to prolong this any more than we need to. So um, our next meeting, I think, was with I'll have to um, double check my notes because let's see, our meeting would be on the 18th or around that week. I'm away that week. So I don't know if our next meeting with Paul Gromer, I thought we had scheduled something for the 12th, but I may be wrong. I'll have to double check my notes on that or Darcy's notes on that. So in any case, I will give you an update and let you know when the next meeting is. And I will iron out this issue with the um, with the agenda and uh, or the uh, meeting link. So I apologize for all of that this morning. I thought I had had it squared away. So I'll try again. Thank you. Okay, everybody. <laughs> have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Stay cool. Thanks. All right, you too. Bye all. Bye. Bye.